Welcome back to Parent University, brought to you by Bedford County Public Schools. In this video, we're going to be talking about Chromebooks and different tips and troubleshooting that you can do at home to help be successful with the devices. Be sure to check out Episode 1, Canvas and Being an Observer. It can be found on the Bedford County Public Schools YouTube channel. Today we're going to cover different keyboard shortcuts that you can do to increase the functionality of the Chromebook, troubleshooting tips if there's something wrong or not working, and who you will go to help with your device if it's truly broken and the troubleshooting doesn't work, regardless of where you are taking school. So I encourage you to have your Chromebook with you so you can practice these tips while I'm going over it in the video. If you need to, pause the video now, go and get your Chromebook so that you can sit with it when you're in here. The first thing I want to show you is here is a poster that you can take a picture of if you would like to have some very common shortcuts to help you keep track and help your students or students can take a picture of this. The other option you have here is this link right here, uh, bit.ly forward slash 3H capital K N capital L capital Y capital S and that is a link that you can go to and print out this Chromebook help shortcuts which is everything we're going to be talking about in this presentation in one worksheet that you can copy and have out at your house for your students to help them. I want you to make sure to know that not all devices in Bedford County look the same, but they are similar. So if your keys do not look exactly the same as the ones I have in this presentation, do not worry. You can find the equivalent to the keys I'm talking about on your keyboard, but they might not be in the same spot. Let's get started. First, if you want to make an image bigger, you're in a slideshow and your teacher told you to put something in there and you want to make it bigger, you can press Control, Alt, and K all at the same time and be able to make it bigger. If you want to make it smaller, it's Control, Alt, and J. If you need to take a screenshot because your teacher says, I want to see the work that you're doing and you did something on your Chromebook, you can take a screenshot by hitting Control and this Window button. This button by itself lets you switch between different windows on the Chromebook. If you want to take a partial screenshot, like you wanted to, you don't need to share the entire screen, but there's one part you need to show, it is Control, Shift, and that Window key again. You can turn caps lock on by pressing control and the magnifying glass at the same time. If you don't want to turn caps lock on, then you press and hold the shift as you're typing the letters to make them capital. If you need to see your screen a little bit better, you can zoom in by hitting control plus. You need to be in a Chrome browser for that to work. You can also zoom out by control minus. If you want to see a list of all the keyboard shortcuts that are available on the Chromebook, you can press Control, Alt, and the question mark, and a screen will pop up that will give you further examples. The ones listed here seem to be the most popular ones and the ones used the most often. You can also see the last site that was closed on the Chromebook, whether it was closed by accident or on purpose. Control, Shift, and T will open up the last site that was visited on the Chromebook. And you can continue to press that and every site that was open that was closed will open back up in the order it was closed. You can fix a flip screen. Sometimes screens turn upside down for some reason and if you need to flip it back over so that it's no longer upside down you can do control shift and the refresh button and each time you press it it will rotate the screen 90 degrees so you might need to press it more than once if you want to view the history see what websites have been accessed you can hit control H and it will pull up the history screen for you when you are in Chrome If you want to create a split screen so that you can have your notes right next to the work that you're working on and you need both of them at the same time, when you're in the Chrome browser, you can hit Alt and the bracket, the left bracket, 
and it will split it into two screens and automatically size it for you so that it will work. Let's say you have multiple students on one device in your house because Chromebooks only go home in the brick and mortar school buildings for grades 6 through 12 and so you need to share the device or you're in Bedford Connects and you don't have a device provided by Bedford County below grade 3 and you're sharing. If you need to remove an account you can do that on the sign in screen once all of the profiles are logged off and you click on the profile that you want to remove and in the lower right corner of that picture there's a down arrow and you can remove the user. This does not remove the user from Bedford County, it only removes the user from that specific Chromebook. The Chromebook touchpad is very sensitive and it can do many different things. Here are a few of them. If you want to move the finger around the touchpad, it moves the pointer. If you press with one finger on the lower half of the touchpad, it will serve as a left click, which lets you select anything. If you want to do a right click, you want to press and tap the touchpad with two fingers with a little bit of space between your fingers. If you want to scroll, you want to place your fingers on the touchpad, not press down, but you just want to place them on the touchpad and move them up and down or left and right. If you have multiple pages on a website that you are trying to navigate and you want to go back and forth, then you can swipe left with two fingers and it will take you back a page and you can swipe right with two fingers and it will take you back forward to the page that you were most recently on. Some more Chromebook touchpad tips is if you want to see all of the windows that are open, you can use three fingers and swipe up or down and it will show you all of the videos, sorry, the windows that are available for you. If you want to close a tab, you can point to the tab and then tap or click the touchpad with three fingers and it will close. By pointing, it means that you hover over that tab. If you want to open a link in a new tab, then that is there as well. Switching between tabs and dragging and dropping. I know many families choose to get an external mouse and that is fine, but you should learn how to use the touchpad in case your mouse dies and you are left without one for a short time. One of the common questions we have been hearing from families is the, we can't enable the camera and the microphone. So here are the step-by-step -step instructions and I will go ahead and show you what this looks like on a Chromebook. You're gonna open, you select open Chrome, you're gonna select the settings, then privacy and security, site settings, and then be able to find the camera and the microphone. When you're ready to check your camera and microphone settings. You click on these three vertical dots and go to settings. In settings you will want to click on privacy and security then site settings and you will scroll down to camera and microphone and you can check both to make sure that no sites are blocked that are not supposed to be blocked. And You just go back and you can check the microphone as well. It is defaulted to ask before accessing and usually a message will appear right here around this Chrome words that ask you to allow it when you go to a website that needs your microphone or your camera. Now let's get into some troubleshooting that you can do to help fix some of the things that might be going on with your Chromebook that you don't need technical support for. Now this is not a complete list of problems that could happen with the Chromebook. These are just some of the most common problems that we hear about every year. And so we want to give you some tips on how you can help your students at home be successful with the Chromebooks and staying connected. First thing, can't connect to the internet. Biggest thing that we usually see with this is that you need to restart the Chromebook. Pressing and holding the power button will let it cycle completely off and not just log off. 
you want to make sure that the internet is turned on by clicking on the internet symbol in the bottom right hand corner as well. It should automatically connect to the internet unless it has been turned off. The Chromebook won't turn on. You should first check to make sure that the Chromebook is charged. Make sure there's nothing wrong with the power cord and that it is entirely connected to the device, to the brick, and to the wall. And you want to press and hold the power button to turn it on. When you plug in your charger, a light should turn on near the port that says the device is charging. If it's green, it's fully charged. If it's orange or red, then it is charging. Let it charge for a bit and try and turn it on. It's either will turn on because the charge was what was missing, or you might have something more serious wrong. Printing from the Chromebook. There are no print capabilities with Bedford County Chromebooks. If you need to print something, you will need to do it from a different device. We do not have cloud printing set up on them, so you will need to find a different way to print something if you have that need. There really shouldn't be much need to print from a Chromebook, however, because all of the work should be done and turned in online. And updating your Chromebook. This is one of the number one things that we see with students is they don't remember to update their Chromebook. So in the bottom right hand corner, there's either going to be a, narrow, a number or an up arrow that will show you that there is an update ready for the Chromebook. You want to click on it and install the update. Just know when you update the Chromebook, it will restart the Chromebook. So don't do it if you were in the middle of an assignment. Finish whatever assignment you're on and then restart your Chromebook. A lot of the times, the update will fix connection issues or Chrome browser issues. Whenever that update is there, you want to update as quickly as possible. Now let's say you try any of those and the Chromebook is still not working. What do you need to do? All Chromebooks need to be serviced at the school they were received from. You need to contact the school to arrange for help for the devices. And, but be aware there are not always going to be loaner devices available. So just be ready to have to make do with a different device if there are no learner devices available. They're on a first come first serve basis. This also means that if you are in Bedford Connects, you need to go to the school you got your Chromebook from in order to get it serviced. You want to make sure you call the school to schedule a time to drop off your Chromebook for assistance. That's all we have for this episode of Parent University. Thanks for tuning in. Again, if you have any questions regarding Chromebooks, please look for the Parent University Q&A form in the email to ask any questions that you may have about Chromebooks. If you have questions about specific issues with Chromebooks, please refer them to your base school. We look forward to seeing you in the next episode of Parent University.